Hello students, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to cover the operating system design and implementation. This particular topic is very important for your college or university level examination. So we will start with the introduction with the theory part of the designing and implementation. Then we will move to the steps that one should follow while designing any type of operating system. And along with this, we will cover different structures that uh, that an operating system always follow that includes simple structure, micro kernel structure and layer structures. So everything we are going to cover in detail in this video. So let's start with the introduction part. So as you can see here, the design of an operating system is a broad and complex topic that touches on many aspects of computer science. So whenever you want to design an operating system, it is not an easy process. It is very complicated and very, uh, yes, we can see it is very interesting also so the operating system may be implemented with the assistance of some structures and the structures of the operating system is mostly determined by what it is mostly determined by how the how the common components of operating system are integrated and merged into the kernel so here you should know the meaning of kernel so what is the meaning so kernel is nothing but it is the essential foundation of computer operating system. It is the essential foundation of computer's operating system and it is the core that provides basic services for all other parts of the operating system, right? Other than this, you should also note that a kernel is responsible for accessing computer resources such as any input output device, any type of memory like RAM, etc. So this is the basic definition of kernel that you should note. So I'm going to repeat the definition again. The operating system may be implemented with the assistance of several structures. Here we have the three structures. Okay. And these three structures of operating system is mostly determined by how the common components of operating system, the internal and common components of the operating system are integrated all these are integrated and also they are merged into the kernel, right? So various structures include simple structure, micro kernel structure and layered structure. So before moving to these three structures, I would like to tell you about some simple steps in designing the system. Okay. So whenever we, uh, we want to design an operating system, first at the first step, a person should specify the type of system. The type of system. Okay. So type of system include if you want batch processing system, if you want time shared processing system, or if you want single user or multi user etc. Any type of system, whatever you want, first you need to specify the type of system. The user in general may want the system to be faster. Everyone want their operating system to be faster, to be reliable, to be flexible and efficient. Okay. And in the next step, what you can do is, in the next step is to determine the policies and mechanisms. Policies and mechanisms of Operating system designing is very important. Here policies determine what should be done on a particular occasion and mechanism determine how it should be done. Policies determine what should be done and mechanism determine how it should be done. After we are satisfied with our requirements and specification, the task of implementation of a system is started here. So these two steps are of designing the operating system. After these two steps, we will move to the implementation process, right? Okay, so implementation is very important. Kernel is also responsible here. Other than this, we can say that assembly language, high level language are also helps a user to implement the system. Okay, although high level languages are less efficient in some aspects, 
as uh, they have their own merits or the uh, demerits right now let's just talk about the structures so first is simple structure in this type of operating system structure here the operating systems are very small they are very simple and they are very limited okay with no well defined structure so it has no well defined structure also in simple operating system there is a lack of separation between separation between the interface of the operating system and the levels of functionalities of the operating system the best example of simple structure is what it is ms dos ms dos is nothing but it is microsoft disk operating system it is the best example of simple structure operating system application if we talk about ms dos the application programs in this type can access basic input output functions if one of the user program fails on these operating system the complete system get crashed every time so this is the major disadvantage of using this simple structure okay okay so i hope everything is clear till now next point we have is micro kernel structures so micro kernel structures wait for a second the micro kernel structure create the operating system by eliminating by eliminating all non essential kernel components and implementing them and implementing all the kernel components as user programs and systems so therefore a smaller kernel is known as a micro kernel micro kernel here means the smaller kernel okay in simple terms we can say that small size of kernel with higher in functionalities higher in properties used in this type of structure the benefit of uh, the micro kernel structure are that all new services must be added to user space rather than the kernel so all the properties are added to the user space not at the kernel space that is the major advantage of using this structure okay so therefore it is more secure we can say because of this property it is more secure and trustworthy and in case of micro kernel structure if a system fails the remainder of the operating system is unaffected is case mein kya hota tha if operating system ki koi file get fail our complete operating system may be get may get crashed right but in case of micro kernel system security level higher hota hai that's why the data is secure every time okay mac operating system you must read about the mac operating system so it is the best example of micro kernel systems right i hope everything is clear till now next point i am going to tell you about the layered structure after that we will cover their advantages or disadvantages so when we talk about layered structure we have multiple layers over here an operating system can be divided into different sections here divided into different sections while retaining far more control over the system here the operating system is divided into different layers in the arrangement level okay so all these layers are arranged in a proper sequence so hardware is on bottom layer so here in this case hardware is on the bottom layer that is layer number 0 right and user interface user interface is on the top layer that is the layer number nth right so i will show you an image so that it will be clear to all of you okay so here we have talked about, we talked about the five layers only 0 to 6 uh, layers only 0 to 5 right 
these layers are designed in such a way that each layer only requires the function of lower level layers and also debugging is simplified here in this case debugging is simplified because if lower level layer are debugged and an error occurred there the error must occur only on that particular layer and the lower layers have been thoroughly tested before moving the process to the upper layer that's why debugging is very easy in this case okay so the basic example of layered structure is what it is unix operating system and linux operating system so these are the best example of layered structure and the main disadvantage i would like to tell you that is very important for your examination also the main disadvantage of the structure is that data must be updated and sent to each layer which adds overhead to the system data is shared to all the layers and that's why the overhead is there at that particular system okay so i hope students you got the point about layered structure micro kernel structure and simple structure one advantage of using layer structure is that debugging and system verification are very simple here we talked about debugging in detail also system verification system verification is very simple to carry here okay and disadvantage is that when compared to simple structure when we compare layered structure to the simple structure this structure degrades application performance so this structure degrades the performance of that particular operating system application so this is the major disadvantage of using the layered structure so i hope students everything is clear if you have any doubt you can comment below you can ask me anytime so thanks for watching